So we're finally on our next to last step before we start our heavy promo push of our lead magnet, our video, and our content. And after this push, our website should be pretty much totally ready and optimized for the traffic that will hopefully soon be swarming in. And so we want to optimize your site's about page and also try out adding an opt-in form to the footer of your page as well. And so the about page is one of the most important, but also sometimes one of the most neglected pages on pretty much anyone's site. And often the about us page is the second most popular page on the website right after the home page. So if we're gonna have a page that's going to get that much attention for visitors, it's definitely in our best interest to optimize it. And so I've got a pretty basic about page for the chocolate monster going, but it's getting somewhere. And so let's think about some ideas for elements you can include for your about page. You wanna make sure you tell a story, tell the visitor what it is you do and why. Keep very clear, consistent copy throughout your about page and the rest of your website. If you've got a team working with you or it's just you, make sure you include relevant team bios, any testimonials if you've got them just yet, make it graphical, include some contact information, social media icons are great, make it easy to find, keep it up to date, and also provide an opt-in opportunity as well. And so we can also try an opt-in form in the footer of your page. And it's always, you know, cool to find a simple trick that you could do to help increase your opt-ins that will take, you know, not much time to implement. And one of those tricks could be adding an additional opt-in form to the footer of your website. It's a very common practice and there's a reason for it. It gets a lot of, you know, extra subscribers. So we wanna make sure that every single visitor that goes to your site you know, we'll have opportunity to sign up to join your list. And this could be added, for example, as a fixed bar app to situate it at the very bottom of your site page. And so for the opt-in footer, you could try a footer on just your home page or certain pages only, or you could try that fixed bar element so it's present on any page of your site. So let's check out your options. I'll show you how to access the fixed bar option in your account. And the good news is it's very simple to do. We can just actually duplicate one of your forms if you wanted and uh, be able to uh, update it to work as a footer form. And so we can see, and here's again my about page uh, that I've got going on. Uh, so I'll start there. And so it's pretty basic, I'm still working on it, but it's got, you know, our welcome message, it kind of begins the story of what it is we've done, includes an image, you know, that's a stock photo, that's not actually me, but it's just an example. Um, a bit of a story about how the chocolate monster got started, and then a call to actually join up. And it's kind of actually nice, like if there's like this personal story going on, you, it almost feels like you're looking at this picture and then, you know, they're talking about the mailing list and sign up. It almost feels like this person's actually inviting you to join the form, uh, join the mailing list specifically. And so all I did was duplicate one of my forms uh, within my account because I already had a horizontal form, you know, that I was using on my homepage for my blog. So I just duplicated it and edited it a bit because my homepage form right now is, you know, advertising my uh, my lead magnet, my recipe directory. So I just wanted to do this one just a bit di a bit differently and kind of just call it a generic mailing list update as well. And so I just duplicated it and then edited it in my uh, WordPress site and be able, was able to add that form via the WordPress Get Response integration and be able to add the sign up form to my about page. So it's getting there. And there's also some cool examples I wanted to show you, some interesting um, uh, examples of some different about us pages I've come across. So you can see sometimes people talk about their mission and then you can see this is an example where they are providing uh, team bios and it has the whole team here as the about us page so you can learn about you know who they are what they do and also like locations which is kind of cool this is one that's interesting very graphical you know this might take some time to create but uh, i just like to you know give you guys some ideas a timeline of the business you know so as you scroll down you know you get down to the beginning of uh, where things happened and so it's pretty cool you could actually see who you know who it was founded by and how and then just scroll up and you get a whole business of i mean a whole a timeline view of the company as well with their story this one's actually pretty short and basic it's got a nice you know graphical element and then just gives the whole story as well and then you can you know redirect you back to their site uh, so it's simple but it's that's what you know it can be it can be simple it just needs to be compelling in some way whether that's with good images you know, an interesting story. And then of course we do, for our purposes, wanna make sure we optimize this with a sign up form so that someone who visits this page will of course uh, have the opportunity to sign up to join the list. And now for the footer uh, option, 
I have a footer here on my actual e-commerce shop. I already have a, a footer form here on my homepage, which is doing pretty well for me as well. So this is something you could try to do, a footer on your homepage like I've done. Again, just through our uh, Get Response integration, I've added it on my e-commerce shop, not necessarily my blog uh, as a footer. And so you can actually see again on those list builder apps I've been talking about, there's one called fixed bar so that it would basically be fixed always at the bottom uh, of your page. And so that's gonna be right here. You can try the fixed bar and you can choose actually, I know I've said footer, but you could choose to uh, keep it. You can see this example at the top as well if you wanted, or if you choose to display it at the bottom and display effect, I'm gonna say, I would usually choose none just so it's always there. People, you know, scroll down, they'll see it, but you could do an effect if you wanted. And so you can just customize the form. You know, you've got all the same editing options uh, that you had previously. Uh, whenever you're creating and editing your forms, make sure you uh, have the settings set up properly uh, for the form itself. And then you'll just add it into your WordPress uh, again, you know, adding it to as a page here, if you wanted adding it, you know, a fixed bar as the footer on your page, or maybe you'd want to add it uh, on the uh, homepage as well. Cause currently, you know, I've got my, uh, we are also trying the pop-up on our homepage and also our a static um, form on our homepage. So maybe you'd want to try it on some of your posts or maybe just on the about us page for right now, trying to do something differently. So just go ahead and try this fixed bar at the bottom, update it uh, so it you know kind of calls people to sign up and you can choose the display position for the bottom if we wanna try the footer and then just get it integrated into your WordPress account and we can try having that uh, footer as well. But the one I have on my uh, main shop is, uh, oops, I opened up a post here. Uh, the one I have on my actual chocolate monster shop has been doing well and it's just a very simple footer. It's not the fixed bar exactly, because fixed bar would be showing up here at the very bottom, and so you could choose to uh, keep it at the footer uh, bottom of a page as well. But try out a different type of form that's on the bottom of the page is basically what I want you to try and do for this lesson. And so first, think about your, op your About Us page. That will take you a bit more time. I think if you haven't you know, created a customized uh, About Us page for your business yet, because you're going to think about what you want to include, how to write your story, uh, what type of graphical, graphical elements you want to include, maybe a timeline like that one example was, uh, which was pretty cool. And then test out trying a footer form, whether that's on the homepage of your blog or your website, or maybe just on your About Us page for right now, or on some particular um, other maybe post pages that you want to try. So all you need to do is just, uh, you know, duplicate one of your forms, maybe one that's performing kind of well, the good copy and good CTA, and try that uh, as a footer form as well. And so the download uh, for this lesson is gonna be some ideas for some key elements of your about page. So you can have that handy whenever you're brainstorming what to customize your about us page with. In the next lesson, we're going to learn all about how to create some really engaging images. So I'll see you there.